tiny of a spot this is to park. <laughs> picks up right now there's no wind so that's nice but when the wind picks up it gets quite chilly so I have all layers on very pretty here Can't go too far. There's like water here. Going through the cave. Very cool. And I thought the weather in Colorado changed fast. The weather here changes like that. We got out of the car, it was raining and cold, and I said, I can't stay, we gotta go. Peter's like, no, we wanna walk. So I put on all my layers, and now the sun's out, and it's just gorgeous, and I'm really, <laughs> ooh. Obviously the sun's out because I'm sneezing, and I'm just really warm. That was a really fun hour exploring this harbor. Pretty cool. I like it. I feel like I say pretty cool a lot. Pretty cool. Yeehaw! <laughs> My freeze is awesome. And mine's, it's so pretty. That's our painting, right there. Go. And just like that, we're back to ring. Goodness. So this is an antenna hooks up to our earpiece and connects to her mic. So when our tour guide talks, it goes in our earpiece and you can hear everything. We're gonna see Giants Cosplay. Before this place was a World Heritage Site, we 
people had taken these rocks away from here. Uh, about one third of them, they estimate, were taken away. And they were said to be bad luck. So the last person to ever be given a rock that was taken from here was in 1963, and it was JFK. And the people that gave it to him a couple months later after JFK was assassinated, they also died. So, yeah. I don't know, just don't take anything from here, I guess. Scotland is right behind us. Um, and there's a lot of folklore that uh, the giant fin had built a, this causeway with all these rocks as a path to go to Scotland. And then um, that giant was bigger, so we actually decided to go back. And Finn, who was 53 feet, pretended to be a baby. And so then he was like, oh, that's a baby. I don't want to wait till the father comes back. He must be a bigger giant than me. So then the giant from Scotland ran back and then destroyed the causeway. And there's still some of these rocks over in Scotland as well. So then that giant from Scotland destroyed the path. That was pretty cool, the giant's causeway. Um, so it is free to go and see. However, if you um, need to park, which you do, because there's not really any place else around, then it's 10.50 um, per person, and then that does include um, a guided tour as well. The one thing about the guided tour I didn't like was just how it said, oh, this was formed over 60 million years ago and all that, and it was presented as fact. Um, and then in the visitor center, we actually saw a video, and on the video, it looked like lots of water could also do the same effect. So what if it was just a lot of water all at once? Like, hmm, a flood maybe. Marshmallow latte, an almond slice, and a peanut butter brownie. It's pretty hot in there. Um, so since I've been ever drinking a warm drink, I wanted to come outside, and that was a little bit cool. Um, but it's just really lovely out here. I love this cafe. Nice narrow roads again. Peter's starting to get a little gutsy on these roads. I'm just getting used to driving them. Gutsy. Lisa still doesn't like it. No. Police barricade and we're like, what's going on? And we turn around and they're like, oh no, there's a parade happening. But Peter had his phone, he went to like show her and she's like, I don't see your phone on you, do I? And she's like, you can get a ticket for that around here. And uh, thankfully she could tell we were Americans and she was very gracious. But uh, Peter, apparently, you, have to, you can't even like be holding the phone, look at directions. Oh my god, my picture taken with them because they were just so cute. I was like, I want to get my picture and remember you guys. 